Today is July 11, and we detected unusual options activity on Apple. And this is a good time for us to update our previous video on Apple that we made on June 2nd, when Apple made an all-time high. And if you recall from that video, we said that Apple was going to go down, and sure enough, that's what happened. So make sure to watch that video that we made on June 2nd. We'll put a link at the top here and also at the end of the video if you have info cards turned on so you can learn how we predicted this. And so today, what we're going to do is take a look at the unusual options activity that happened to give an idea of whether Apple will now come back up or will it continue to go down. So without further ado, let's get right to these unusual options. 10,030 of them to be exact, happening at 1.33 p.m. This is for the July 21's 175 strike puts and the September 190 strike calls and 190 strike puts. Okay, so let's take a look at the July 21's first. Expiring in just 10 days, 175 strike puts. Here they are. You can see that here. Volume much less than the open interest. Open interest at 74,000. We believe what this large investor is doing is closing this trade off they are buying this to close it okay and so um, they are taking some profits because they had sold it to open it originally which was selling a 175 strike put which is moderately bullish and since we are above that 175 strike price they are profitable uh, by closing that trade out now and so what they're doing after closing this put is they're going to the September 15th that's 66 days away and now they're going to the 190 strike puts and calls you'll see here the open interest only at 5,960 so this is less than the 10,030 okay so this is an opening trade here and here is the call side here the um, open interest here, 25,000 is greater than the 10,000. However, based on other data that we are analyzing, we still think this is an opening trade. And what we think this large investor is doing is they're selling the 190 strike calls and buying the 190 strike puts. And by selling this call here, this requires a lot of buying power, the 190 strike call. By selling one of these requires about 4,200 buying power. Um, if you're not sure how to calculate that, we have a video to show a very simple method at the link below, above. Um, so the 4,200 is just one contract, and we know they did 10,030 of them. So. This is $42 million of buying power capital required to put on this unusual options trade here. And when you analyze it, you'll see that this is a short position. Apple at 188. As it goes down in price, this trade becomes profitable. And as it goes up, this becomes a loss. So this obviously is a short because you can see it's a negative 101 here negative is a short it's a bearish okay so um the question is why is this um apple um, still being shorted uh, they could have stocks and they want to put this on as a hedge as well but keeping this hedge on limits their profitability on their stocks so this tells us that Apple may still continue to go down. And we're not expecting more um, upside from here. Okay, so that is our analysis. 
Um, please smash that like button. And if you're interested in other stocks, as usual, join our membership. Click the join button on our, member, our channel homepage to learn more. We analyze other stocks, not just Apple, because there's other stocks out there that have more unusual options activity and you can leverage this by choosing the right stocks at the right time to get into the right trades because there are times like this when apple isn't performing as well and even though today's market was generally positive apple did not perform well as you can see and so you want to diversify your portfolio with other stocks that are going to be doing well and to pick these stocks you want to be able to understand and interpret the unusual options activity to see where the large investors are putting their capital to work at okay so that is uh what, what um why we think following the unusual options increases your profitability and if you've been following this channel you can see that that's what has been happening with the stocks that we pick so um, make sure to go to our channel homepage click the join button to learn more